Today's game comes from Allen Park Antrim. It's Cliftonville first Carrick Rangers from the Under-16s National League. Cliftonville in red, attacking the goal to our right. The opening 10 minutes of the game were mainly dominated by Cliftonville. It was this skirmish that was the lead to the first effort and goal. Number 9, Colin O'Pong setting up Breen Carson, whose team header easily captured by keeper Aaron McFarlane. The first real opportunity came around the 16th minute mark. Across from the left found the head of Peter McKernan. The carry keeper relieved to see the ball clearing the bar. Cliftonville continued to press. Another shot that never really threatened McFarland, the keeper easily holding onto the ball. The opening goal came around the 35th minute. A dinking run from number four Dylan Snodden and a clever pass finding Colin O'Pong. O'Pong stepping inside to beat number seven Harry Quarry before slotting the ball home. Cliftonville, good value for their 1-0 lead. As if the chill factor wasn't enough, the half-time change in round would welcome rain. And as the conditions deteriorated, it was to get even worse for Carrick Rangers. Cliftonville working the ball on the right, and an Opong cross fell to Peter McKernan. The number 10 dispatching a half volley and giving the keeper no chance. Cliftonville 2, Carrick Rangers 0. No let up in the pressure from Cliftonville and their number 11 Owen Taggart was to pull one right out of the top drawer, unleashing the shot from 30 yards. His wonderful effort looping over the keeper and nestling in the back of the net. Cliftonville well and truly in the driving seat. As the game entered the final phase, a throw in on the left was the lead to the final goal. Casey outsmarting Aaron McNeish and then slotting the ball home from close in. Harry Rangers did have an effort on goal in the final stages of the game. Their substitute, Josh Clark, providing a pass that the Cliftonville defence were making a bit of a hash off. The ball eventually falling to Ben Monaghan. His effort, though, easily dealt with by the Cliftonville goalkeeper. The game finishing Cliftonville 4, Carrick Rangers 0. It was pretty much so. We came here with a game plan, obviously, and uh, was working very well until the last kick of the first half, uh, which, which went against us. We also had two injuries the first 10 minutes, which, which didn't help our game plan too, you know. But this league is a, it's a learning curve for us, and our main aim this season is to progress as many of these players on the R under 18s. So today was just another learning that. Uh, it seems in this league, because of the quality of standard, if you're off your game at all or if you make a mistake, you get punished for it and, and that's the standard we're at here. So it was another learning day for us, a valuable learning at that. Yeah. Full time it said, you know, just keep the head, keep playing and keep trying to do the right things. So it's very hard to do it against good opposition right through it this league, you know, but just keep believing in what you can do and keep trying to play the right way. Albeit it sometimes doesn't come off for you, you just gotta keep trying. Great, yeah. As I said, it was a, it was a crucial to get that opening goal. We were frustrated on the sideline. To be honest with you, for a play to carry Rangers, for, they sat in, frustrated us, and uh, we made a wee change just before half time. We went 4 4 3 3, and uh, we got one chance by Colleen Paul, new kid on the block, scoring every week. He took his chance, the kid gets one chance, he scores, and he's in good this season for us. I thought as a team, as, as a whole six team, you know, I thought we were, we all done our jobs well. Yeah. You can't, you can't single anyone out, you know, we'll work for, for each other. First half, we were a wee bit getting frustrated because we weren't moving the ball quick enough. But when we got the boys in at half ten, we, we started using the ball. We started moving quick enough. We started creating chances and it's holding the end, 4-0. Could have been a bit more, but for a play to carry, a good battling team and, and they made it difficult at times. But we're happy with a 4-0 win.